Hi, this is Leif with Enduro Campers. We're out here today to give you a rundown on the Super Tour camper. This is a frame mounted, truly off road capable camper designed for sustained off road use. And we're going to give you a rundown on all the specs and details. And this camper is available on a three quarter ton, half ton, as well as the new Tacoma coming out later this year. Okay, starting with the quick overview of the exterior and then we'll head inside. So the overall philosophy of this camper is a super lightweight, super durable, truly off-road capable camper. And we do that by using foam core fiberglass sandwich panels um, that are super high strength and provide the structure for the camper as well as uh, keeping the camper insulated as well. And the composite panels are, are edged and capped with our proprietary extrusions. So we have a T-slot extrusion up at the top for our lifting roof system. Um, the overhang is skinned in carbon fiber for structure, aesthetics, and to create this angle right here. The taper in the camper keeps it tight to the body line for better aerodynamics, tight trails, tree clearance, that sort of a thing, and also looks good. We have the departure angle built into the rear. We have the uh, side entry door allows for gear storage on the rear of the camper, including a spare mounting a spare tire. Um, and so we have the go wing door it opens up here and we have the integrated slide out steps in the camper. And so to lift up the roof, there's just four latches around the camper. Undo these on this side. Then we'll head inside. Nice and easy to lift up. And we are also offering powered roof lift as well too. So our next build will have uh, linear actuators to just push a button and lift the roof up, which also allows for cargo, rooftop air conditioners and that sort of a thing. And so on the inside, we have a nice spacious layout, um, really focused on keeping it light and airy in here, um, as well as you know providing as much storage as possible. Okay, and up here we have the queen size mattress. It's upholstered in really nice umbrella fabric. And up top here we have the large windows in the tent, which give you a fantastic view. So this is a great place to lounge and hang out. We hang out up here, hang, get the breeze blowing across. You get the views from up high. Um, great place to hang out, sit against the boards up at the front. You also have nice storage pockets for books, water bottles, and that sort of a thing. Um, and then in order to access the seating area and you're in, your, you're in camp mode, we can just move this removable mattress section out of the way. And on all future campers going forward, the overhang over the cab will be longer and we will no longer need a sliding bed platform, which is amazing, which allows the queen size bed to be fixed in place all the time, no splitting up the bed whatsoever and you have access to the seating area and the bed all at the same time. Slides underneath the bed, underneath the mattress there, and then gives you a view of the upper storage area that's situated above the exterior pass-through storage down below. So here we have the uh, Cidio crate rack system. So the Cidio crates are these awesome storage crates that utilize um, dividers and separators on the inside. They're removable, so you can take these outside. So we've got tools and spare parts in here. We've got a full set of tools in here. And the system that we utilize has this frame that allows the crates to just barely slide out and clear, but they do not come out even when off-roading. They are locked in place. So this is a great system, very lightweight, very versatile. Um, and then on the left and right, we have the sort of his and hers wardrobe area, great, perfect to stash a duffel bag in there, backpack, and a you know really good place to store your clothes, which is always necessary in a camper. All right, and so for our living area, we have this wraparound bench area with a variety of systems underneath. 
And this is 78 inches wide on the inside, so a six foot tall person can easily sleep going across here. Um, great for kids as well too. And underneath the benches we have on this side is an open uh, storage area, great for trash. Also has the SureFlow water pump, some of the valving and shutoffs. And one thing to note are these bench tops are this rice hole composite material. So the entire camper is wood free, other than maybe bamboo countertops, but entirely wood free construction. And so onto the next bench, we have the 28 gallon water tank here. It's nice centrally located for weight distribution purposes. We have the access port at the top for direct filling with a jug, also for cleaning and maintenance. And next to the water tank, we have the Trulino composting toilet. So really nice German made toilet, very simple, very light, um, has the liquid and solid separation as well as a fan that draws the air out of the, to out of the toilet and down out of the camper. And we have the cutouts here to make a nice seating position. And on this side, we have the 12 volt Duetto hot water heater as well as the auxiliary solar panel storage area and the storage area for the Lagoon uh, tabletop. So this uh, 12 volt electric hot water heater is 2.6 gallons, which is plenty of water for two showers. Um, also feeds the sink up in the galley. Okay, we have the dedicated storage for the Lagoon table. Put out here, pop it on this, and you have a great seating area here you can do some work lounge eat dinner inside when weather's bad close all this up swings around nice extra countertop space as well gets out of the way nicely as well okay and on this side of the camper we have the arctic turn dual pane windows gray windows with the uh, sunshade Bug, bug screen opens up and then down below that we have the gasoline fueled heater this is the auto term uh, 4000 BTU really heats the camper up <laughs> really quickly and uh, we have the controls up here for that so this draws the fuel directly from the gas tank of the truck itself for almost unlimited heat Okay, for our fridge, we have the Isotherm 130 liter drawer fridge. Uh, fantastic fridge, tons of storage, super useful. We access it from the side, um, freezer compartment, um, tons of storage, wine holders. And then, you know, obviously the bamboo countertops. We come over here, nice deep sink with the Scanvic pull out faucet. Um, over here, we also have additional storage underneath the, underneath the sink using the uh, tight marine drain here. And so this actually drains directly to the exterior, so there's no gray tank, although we can do a gray tank if needed. Um, electrical system underneath here, 200 amp hour battery in this camper. Um, and we can certainly do four, 600 amp hours of lithium as well. Um, we have the uh, vent window at the rear, opens up just a little bit for a nice little extra ventilation. Uh, we also have the rear window, which is really nice for the view out from the top as well too. Um, and then the induction cooktop built into the countertop here for we need to cook inside when the weather's bad. Um, over here, we also have the more of the Cidio crate pull-out drawers. So this one's going to have the cutlery, plates, that sort of thing. And of course, if you need to cook outside, you can just take it out with you. And then over here, we have the control panel. So we have the dimmer switch for the, for the uh, overhead lighting. And then we also have the Bluetooth switching controls as well here. Power, battery monitor, water tank gauge, and the inverter controls. And then down here we have a really nice open storage area for easy access from outside. It's a great place to put the water bottle, your headlamp, your phone, charge it with the 12 volt uh, ports right here. And this is for the outdoor faucet right here so dedicated storage for that we'll get into that when we go out back outside and then we have cutting board storage and then the inverter down below there as well okay back out to the outside 
Um, you know, again, one of our big focus on this is exterior storage access. So we have this huge pass-through storage area that we call the garage. And so we have, so this is designed for surfboards, fishing poles, um, skis and snowboards, of course, all those long, hard to store items. And so you can put a, put a ton of camping gear in here as well. So we have uh, our camp chairs, stove, awning poles, you know, a lot of, lot of room in here for all your, all your gear. And one thing to note is on these doors here, we have these really nice uh, constant torque hinges. So it, has, so it stays in place and the wind isn't gonna blow it closed or open on you. Um, down below that, we have the lower storage boxes, the exterior storage boxes. So this one we've used for the propane for outdoor cooking. So we set up the table right here, have the direct access for the propane. Okay, and moving on from the pass-through storage, we have the outdoor faucet. So this uses the Aquar Quick Connect system. So these are a really cool product that allows you to just snap it into place and then you have an outdoor, outdoor faucet. So you set up your cooking right here, you have a faucet outside. And then you take this same um, quick connect fitting, you put a garden hose onto this and plug it into this one and that fills the tank from the outside. So moving towards the rear, again, you see the taper in the camper, gives it a really nice shape. Again, that clearance in tight trees and aerodynamics. And then on the back, you really have a blank canvas for storage. So we have the molly panel on this side. You have additional storage here for, could be roto packs, could be you know, jerry cans. And then we can also do a spare tire mount on the rear, which we'll be doing on our next build. And then we also have the max tracks down below on the uh, overhang. Above that, we have uh, exterior lighting on the rear. And we have the digital rear view camera. So this replaces the mirror on your windshield and puts a screen there. So you have a rear view camera there. Down below, we have the factory backup camera integrated into the bottom of the camper. Shows up on the screen. So when you reverse, you have a camera there as well. And again, you can see the T-slot. So we have little attachment hooks here. And then coming back to this side, we have the Darchi 180 degree awning, which we'll break out a little bit later. And that's a fantastic awning. It opens up all the way across. And then coming around to this side. We also have the Darchi shower awning. So this creates the awning cubicle here for the, for the shower. Then we have the um, outdoor shower quick connect here which is stored down in this storage box. So we have the air compressor in here, as well as the quick connect shower for outside showering. And then coming up here, we have the fuel filler for the truck integrated into the camper, sealed off on the inside. We also have the auxiliary solar panel input here as well too. And then of course the other side of the pass-through. Now we'll open up the awning. Uh, one of the things that's really nice about these 180 and as well as the 270 degree awnings is how easy they are to set up. You don't have to unroll it. Really just kind of opens up, self-supporting. There are tons of shade under here. door still opens up underneath the awning. So for solar, we have 230 watts of flexible panels on the top of the camper. And then this truck actually has a 90 watt uh, panel on the hood, the Cascadia 4x4 panel for a total of 320 watts. Um, and then going into the truck itself, uh, so this is obviously a F-150, half ton. Um, and the camper weighs 1300 pounds. And we have only, from a suspension standpoint, only had to do a single Adelief on this camper. And then the front has the really nice Bilstein 8112 suspension. So it's lifted a little bit in the front and then a lift block in the rear just to level it up. Uh, but the truck is well within GVWR. Um, and you have the 200 pound weight savings from removing the bed. So a net weight of about 1100 pounds. And so the truck still handles great, rides great, and doesn't need extensive suspension modifications. Now on a, on a three-quarter ton F-250, 
um, you could just you know drive it away and not have to do any modifications unless you choose to do that. And so that allows us to not have to do extensive modifications to the vehicle in order to mount the camper directly on the frame. So in addition to the features that we've gone through on the camper, we also have a number of other options that we can um, add to the camper. The main one being the powered roof lift. So the linear actuators, really high quality marine linear actuators, allows you to put cargo on the roof, rooftop air conditioners, much more solar, Starlink, we can do Starlink integration. And so in addition to that, we can do insulated tent walls. So you have additional insulation in the tent. Uh, we can also take care of your suspension modifications at the time of the camper, properly tuning the suspension for the weight of the camper, desired ride height, tires, wheels. Uh, we believe we mentioned the rear tire carrier as an option as well. Um, storage boxes on the rear, long range fuel tanks, um, auxiliary lighting as well. And a few other options that we can do in the camper are an indoor shower, so we can put a shower pan on the floor with a indoor, for an indoor shower. Hydronic heating as well. So we have a gasoline or diesel fueled um, hydronic heater which heats air and hot water. We can also do larger battery banks as well. Um, what else can we do? Sliders, um, you know, wheel and tire setups, custom bumpers as well too. Yeah, and again, I'm Leif with Enduro Campers. We're based on the central coast of California. And if you want to get more information, it's info at endurocampers.com. We've got more information and specs at endurocampers.com. We put a lot of pride and a lot of craftsmanship into these campers, and we hope you enjoyed this walkthrough video.